Hello everyone, welcome to this demo that will be super quick and it will be about resolving Python software uh, stacks considering also RPM packages that are present in uh, runtime environments. So the overall goal is to recommend Python packages uh, that uh, require certain RPM packages present in the runtime environment and be sure that uh, these RPM packages are present in environment, so the, the application stack will work. Um, if uh, you would like to uh, know more about this, you can follow uh, online documentation of prescriptions. So prescriptions are the declarative interface to the YAML configuration, uh, to the resolver in the form of YAML configuration file. So in prescriptions, uh, you can state requirements on RPM packages. Uh, that should be present in runtime environments. These uh, RPM packages can be specified based on full package identifier. So for example, uh, GCC, C++, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's uh, quite verbose. Then you can specify also just package name, epoch, uh, package version, release, architecture, and uh, a flag uh, stating whether the given uh, package is a source distribution. Uh, if you take a look at example, you can see uh, that uh, uh, in this case, uh, pipeline unit will be included in the resolution process if uh, package git is present in the runtime environment and uh, when uh, GCC C++ uh, is present uh, in specific version, in specific release, um, and um, uh, is present in, in the given runtime environment. You can also specify requirement uh, on not presence of the given git, uh, of the given package. So here you can see that pipeline unit will be registered if git will not be present in the environment. Uh, now let's take a look at uh, example. So uh, let's go to prescriptions and uh, an artificial example that demonstrates this use. So here uh, we have a pipeline unit that is called test boot. It's of type boot. It's registered in uh, a resolution pipeline uh, when giving recommendations. And uh, it checks uh, that uh, RPM, whether RPM package git is present. So if git is not present in this case, uh, in the runtime environment, then the log uh, is printed. So let's try to uh, run this. Uh, just to uh, check, uh, we will supply these environments to resolver. Uh, in, the important part here is the base image. Um, so uh, tot base images are analyzed on tot site, on tot backend. So tot knows what RPM packages are present in these base images. And uh, when we uh, run the uh, recommendation engine, here we are running it locally, but this can be done uh, in the cluster. Uh, we see that no error message is printed. It means the pipeline unit was not registered in the resolution process because uh, git RPM package is present in the uh, uh, runtime environments that we use. Here uh, I will adjust uh, prescription in a way that we will print the error message when git is present in the given runtime environment. So again, we trigger uh, the resolution process. And as you can see, uh, there is printed uh, an error message that states uh, our message. And it means that uh, the pipeline unit was registered in the resolution process and uh, printed. Uh, the message as prescribed in prescriptions. Uh, this was a uh, rather uh, artificial example. If you want to take a look at real world example, you can do so. So uh, here is a prescription for package git Python. That is a Python wrapper on top of git. Uh, and uh, this prescription uh, checks if git is present inside uh, runtime environment that users use. So if uh, git is not present in the runtime environment. Uh, that means the given pipeline unit is registered in the resolution process and uh, will uh, see if any packages 
or any versions of Git Python, because Git Python requires uh, Git RPM, and uh, that means the resolver will try to find another resolution path without Git Python, and if it fails, uh, then the whole resolution fails. Um, so uh, the resolution fails because uh, requirements on the runtime environment are not met. This is somehow a resolution uh, cross ecosystem. So we have Python packages that require some native uh, packages uh, being present in uh, the runtime environment. So in this case, it's uh, uh, Git and Git Python. Uh, this way, I would like to thank you. Uh, if you are more interested in this, uh, follow online documentation. And uh, thank you. See you next time.